My name's Phil Smales. I've been here for 40 years. The facility is a stainless steel melt shop. We take in raw material, which is scrap, and we convert it using an arc furnace, an AOD, a ladle arc furnace, and casting machines. The products we're making are slabs, blooms, and billets. The main challenges is keeping control, tight control on temperature. The main areas for monitoring the temperature is at the electric arc furnace. We also have to try to control the materials. Part of the steel making process is we generate slag and metal and we use the land equipment to help get rid of the slag from the ladle by decanting it away into a slag pot. This helps speed up the AOD process. The focus of our relationship with Master Galia and the predecessors for 20 plus years has been the SDS, so that's the slag detection system, using our mid-wave camera technology. Since seeing the abilities of the SDS camera at the electric art furnace, we've resurrected an idea we had of using the SDS camera at the AOD vessel. We're also investigating using our Cyclops instrument, which has a mode called Meltmaster mode, which is ideal for liquid steel temperatures. This is a potential replacement for dip thermocouples. Safety means we're trying to get the person away from having to make the dip to make the temperature measurement. If we could do this using some kind of optical thermometer, pyrometer, then that'll make it better for everybody. The other challenges we face is getting the workforce that have the experience and knowledge. It seems to have really moved out of the industry, so sometimes the instrumentation helps take up that gap. I do like the software, the visuals on it, the bars that show you the amount of slag and metal. They're very um, easy to read, easy to see. They can look at some of our processes and they'll come up with ideas or cameras they think might work. We also have great potential for the LWIR camera for ladle monitoring, the NIR2K for tundish measurements and liquid steel measurements. And I think it's this collaboration of talking and communicating that's really helped in the last year or two. And it's really driven things forward. And we feel like we're part of a digital ecosystem which helps with the operational efficiency of the plant. And we're proud to be a part of that.